This is just a tour of our lab here at Southern Technical College. As you can see here, Chrissy has this all set up, our little suture kits to surprise the students tomorrow. Gives them the ability to practice on some suture techniques, load in knife handles, going over some basic concepts of sutures. She's gone over some instruments here. Uh, she goes over 10 instruments and, and kind of in sequence, but in a sense of 110 instruments. So she'll kind of progressively go over instruments. But I thought maybe if you're interested in this program, I'll give you a little bit of a look of our lab here. My name is Brad. I'm the co-supervisor here at Southern Technical College. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the lab, okay? Let's do it. This is where the instructor would sit. So basically we are here, we have a lecture type of lab. Yeah, we all sit in this little area here where we get the lecture part. And if you go over here, obviously we got some things for sterile processing. We wrap our instruments, we go over some sterile processing concepts. Um, different types of wrap. So wrapping a lot of things here is important for two purposes. Obviously we need to repurpose our items and be cost effective, but you can practice that using certain kind of chemical tape, which I can see the chemical tape right there, uh, and different principles of uh, sterilization with the chemical, biological, and so forth. There's where you're going to wash your hands. So aseptic is really important aseptic technique that is. So learning a proper surgical scrub is important with different chlorhexidine, not chlorhexidine, different chloroprep or duroprep or different boat iodine type of prep. So you learn, you do your scrub and that's something we'll teach you here, teach you that here in the lab. So stepping on, well actually we'll get in there in one second. We're gonna move around here. And as we move around here, we have a lot of good information on the board. Uh, and when you're in this lab, I would advise reading it. We have contact information. There's Brad and his AI picture. Dr. Triana, contact information. And there's Crystal, one of their other co-program supervisor. And so we have a lot of good information, AST information. Dr. T does a schedule here. We do a lot of field trips. We do a lot of... Uh, events throughout the month, so we provide you with a lot of good information. Uh, I would definitely take a peek at this because sometimes there's good things down there that you can take advantage of scholarship-wise. In this case, we look here, there's laptops for cheap pur purchases through the government and so forth, right? Over here, we do appreciation for us. This is kind of our tree of appreciation, externship of the month, student of the month. Uh, so academically and actually clinical, we try to recognize people who have gone up and above. So this is a process and work. Uh, we don't have a lot of people on there right now. Uh, we do have one, Selena Granero, otherwise known as Selena. Yeah, she's a CST out there at clinicals right now. I'm pretty sure she's like, oh my God, don't show my picture. Uh, let's walk down to Chrissy's lab. Or we're in the lab. <laughs> Chrissy's uh instrument or a wall of instruments. So we progressively, they actually started with 10 instruments and she just told me she's up to 91 right now or somewhere in that range. But as you can see, they progressively get more and more. Can you name these instruments? Hmm, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but you will at the end of her class. And obviously she grades you, it's about exposure, right? Understand it. Believe it or not, you will know these instruments. These are probably the most common ones you'll see in multiple specialties, ranging from general, and GYN, orthopedics, and so forth, right? A lot of instruments to learn, but it is important, right? Because this is what you're doing. You're providing uh, stuff for the doctor, preparing an aseptic field. We'll get into that lab in a moment. Should we look over here? Oh my God, should we? Yeah, so we have a sterile core. Uh, we have a lot of things we can pick, gloves, so we do have resources here, but Chrissy, will also myself, will have you have a pack. This is a basic pack. You'll build your own basic pack. Know what's in there between in those types of packs uh, between um, suture boxes, aseptos, etc. There's a lot of information uh, that you'll learn to put in these packs, but you'll use this pack throughout your skills here, right? So it's to practice, open up on a field, because that's what we do. Here's a table, it's a good example of that. 
we open step onto our field to provide a sterile field, uh, obviously to minimize infection during that surgery, right? And that's all, pretty much our whole job, right? To provide instruments and to provide a sterile barrier for that patient. Should we go down here? Probably not. This is just kind of a storage. We have a lot of areas where we will pick items. Um, I would advise these gloves. You know, when you get your gloves, at least try gloves. Try to experiment with size. I mean, there's so many varieties. Just remember, we do, we get donations. Uh, we don't like to order a lot of things. Just joking. We order things, but we get a lot of donations. So there's a variety of types of gloves that we get, right? Moving right along. Hey, any questions that you have for the school, throw it in the comments. Uh, we like to hear your comments out there. I'm pretty sure you're, if you're interested in this field and you just don't know what it's about, um, I can understand that. If you want to come into the school, we can talk. We had a student today um, kind of sit with the class to get an experiment or to experience what actually surgical technology is. Can you do it? Is it too hard? Am I, am I even capable of doing it? Um, I know those questions. Trust me, I've had it myself. The answer is, yeah, you can do it. Just if you're interested in it, right? They call this person Brad, the anatomy. Does he look like me? Let me see. Hmm. Hi. And maybe it's the glasses. Back. All right, this is mannequin Brad, right? one arm Brad. Anyways, we practice. So if you give you a good example, uh, I'm not doing it justice here, but the lab, right? Kind of a two, we're gonna be working on this floor here, so I'm embarrassed about it. Uh, we just actually tore down this wall, so that's why that line is there. During the break, we're gonna have this buffed out here. So laparoscopic, right? We practice uh, techniques for putting in tro cars, learning anesthesia machines, the towers, installation devices, um, and obviously learning that. So the whole idea is, if you can look in the back there, we have a back table, which is the table. <laughs> Then we have a Mayo, which is a lot of the instruments that are going to be used immediately, right? And then we got a ring stand, right? Get over there, ring stand. Ring stand, back table, Mayo. That's, if you're going to be in this field, those are your three amigos right there, right? So it's to open up this field onto this table and provide a sterile field, right? And do counts. Redundancy, we teach you about that. Poor Jim Bob's up on here again. Cooter. These students, they're crazy. So anyway, setting up a, a Mayo stand with instruments, setting up a back table, getting a perspective of what that is and going through a count of blades, hypo, bovi, needles, cottonoids, ratex, so forth. Anything that's countable that can, good, that can get lost in a patient needs to be verified with a count with a nurse. A redundancy over and over three times right skin closing peritoneum and then that skin closure again so yeah redundancy is important got some TVs up here we try to put up videos and uh, pull up different examples of surgeries during the process there's another Mayo back table and ring stand as soon as they get a sterile they go through counts we can get up to the field with Brad again and we can drape, right? We practice different types of drapes from laparotomy, uh, lithotomy. I would say the most common thing you're gonna practice in a lab is a abdominal draping technique, right? Uh, we get up there and we try to go through some surgical steps within reason, but remember, it's about basics. Can you get to the field? Can you do a count? Can you set up a basic case? Can you bake, get up here and, and drape and not contaminate, right? Our standards are not small, but in the concepts of getting up here is what we're looking for, right? And you get into more bigger cases, orthopedics, uh, larger specialties. Uh, your clinicals is where you're going to do a lot more of that training. Uh, here is to get a foundation and a basic concept and work on those muscle memories here in lab. That's the whole idea. You know, I had some students just having trouble putting gloves on. We can't get you to clinicals if you're having trouble putting gloves on, right? And it's about nerves and anxiety. And here, it's a very comfortable env environment, but you get out to the OR, and this OR is filled with a lot of personalities and a lot of things going on. 
they don't have time for you to put your gloves on, right? We need to get in there and start setting up, right? We got sutures here. We go over sutures con concepts. That's what Chrissy's doing tomorrow with some sutures and a little kit that we have for the students. But there's different varieties, model filaments, uh, multi-filaments, right? Absorbable, non-absorbable, you name it. There's different types. So, you know, that's something hard for the students to grasp, even people that are employed in the first year or two have trouble with sutures. And as you can see, there's a suture board a student kind of did for a project. Um, so what do they got up there? Classifications of suture materials, types of needles, cut in, reversed, tapered. It's actually not that bad. Non-absorbable, kind of classified it into absorbable, gave a description of them. But you will learn that over time. Trust me. But we have a lot of sutures here for you to practice with. So, I mean, and again, we get a lot of donations, right? And we're going to follow up. Again, if you're interested in surgical technology, why don't you stop by? My name is Brad. I am the co-supervisor here at Southern Technical College located in Port Charlotte. Let me flip around. And we welcome you to join us here. If you're interested, just call us here at 941 391-888. Just ask for Brad. Talk to Shelby at the desk and just take a tour. If you have any questions, any interest, it's a demand. We need you out there. All right. Say goodbye, lab. There's a window. How is Brad the mannequin? All right. That looks good. I'm going to go take a nap. Bye-bye.